Hey YouTube, how's it going? So welcome back to another video. Now before I get started, I just wanted to talk about my infantry only challenge while I died, so that's kind of why I stopped uploading it. Anyways, on to this video. We are playing in the Call of War 100 player 1.5 map. We're playing as Mauritania, and I don't, I, I don't actually know if I'm saying that right, but I hope I am. And so we're playing as Mauritania, and I'm essentially playing as the Axis Doctrine, so we're going to take some time to see how the Axis Doctrine and 1.5 together uh, make this game play different than the other Doctrines. So that's what I'm interested to see in this Let's Play. So let's talk about what's going on. So I have essentially done this. In each of my five core cities, I have built. Here, let me go to the provinces tab. But in each of my five core cities, I have built an essential, like, built production building, as you can see. So, barracks, ordnance foundry, um, air factory, naval base, tank plant, and I'm currently building a secret lab in the new city that I just captured. Also, I have built level 1 industry as well as level 1 infrastructure, so that's good. I'm wondering if I should upgrade these buildings. And I, because like, when you upgrade your buildings, they reduce the construction time for your units. So I'm thinking maybe I will if I can afford it. Okay, let's actually buy some goods, cause, yeah, we're gonna need that. And then, I think I can s definitely sell some of this. Oh no, I'm not gonna make much money off of it. Okay, I'm upgrading the barracks, but the rest of the stuff I'll upgrade later, when I have more resources. So, anyways... In my capital city, I'm producing infantry right here in the city, and then over here, ordnance units. Here is my naval base, Port Etienne, and then over here, we have my air base and St. Louis. We have the tank plant in the city, as I mentioned, that I captured from Rio de Oro. I am building a secret base or something, whatever it's called. So, Spain's in my coalition. I checked his stats out. He's a good player. He has taken Morocco, so that's good. We share a border. Oh my god, I can't even talk, but we share a border now. So, yeah. I admitted these two guys into my coalition, but they're pretty inactive, so I think I'm going to kick them out or something soon. I don't know. Um, that's what's going on in West Africa. Also, I'm going to be attacking Algeria soon, I think, so look out for that in the next episode. And then I also admitted Ethiopia, and I don't know why, and then I rejected Madagascar. And then here in Southern Africa, South Africa, Benchuanaland, Southwest Africa, Belgian Congo, and... Equatorial Gabon have formed their own coalition, so that's great. We're gonna have to fight a big South African coalition. And then here in the Middle East, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, Iraq, Persia, and Syria have formed their own coalition, so that's another coalition to fight. And then in Southeastern Europe, Italy, sorry, not Italy, Greece, Yugoslavia, Romania, Turkey, they form their own coalition. There's a Soviet coalition up here. And then Finland, Poland, Italy, France, and the UK have formed their own coalition. So Spain's going to have to worry about that and I'll help them out if I can. And then, yeah, so that's pretty much what's going on today. And also, I would have taken out Portuguese Guinea, but I left that for French Sudan. But seeing that they're probably not going to be active, I think I'll probably just take that little country out later um so yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed then make sure to drop a like and subscribe 
and uh, share this video and comment any suggestions that you may have. So, and uh, have a nice day.